Allison, we are waiting on a news conference out of NASA today about a new spacecraft. Call it an asteroid spotter. Set to give us a better look at what's in space around us, and that matters because, well, recently planet Earth had a near miss from an asteroid. It missed us by a mere 8,700 miles. That may make you feel better, however, that is lower than our satellites in orbit. That's New York to Bangkok by way of airplane. Would this new high-tech spacecraft be a line of defense against asteroids or other space-based killers? Let's ask Michio Kaku, physics professor, host of the new Science Channel series, Sci-Fi Science, based on his New York Times bestseller, Physics of the Impossible. It will air every week starting the 1st of December. How you doing? Very good. WISE is the name of it. Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. Man, I hope it's WISE. <laughs> <laughs> what can it do? WISE is the first systematic attempt by NASA to track these lumps of rocks in outer space is an asteroid hunter. Before we had, we had amateurs looking in the night sky. At daytime, they can't look for asteroids. If it rains, a thunderstorm, all the telescopes have to be shut down. This is going to operate 24 hours a day. Okay. To me, it looks like R2-D2. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, wasn't this conceived by George Lucas in 1976 or well, whatever the year, 77? So we're catching up to Star Wars. Uh, Wise will take uh, a picture every 11 seconds and download these pictures four times a day to the planet Earth. In six months, it should get about 1.5 million pictures. So it says it's, it's sending back. Is it in real time? Not quite in real time. That's, that's one of the defects of the system. Uh, this is a first step, a first okay. baby step toward a systematic real-time observation of the entire sky. But when sky. we were here on Friday, we were talking about an asteroid that wasn't that very large. It was 30 feet across, and then in March, uh, an asteroid 100 feet across skimmed the Earth. If that had hit, it would have wiped oh, yeah. out New York City. Ah, uh, there's a good chance we would not be sitting here today <laughs> talking about R2-D2, but this one can track an asteroid two miles or bigger? Uh, that's in the I'm main... Not, I'm not feeling better. I mean, two <laughs> miles is a pretty good chunk. That's in the main asteroid belt. They say that if an object, they track it and they zero in on it, they can get it down to maybe like 500 feet. But remember, something as big as 100 feet could literally wipe out the entire uh, New York metropolitan area. So this is the first baby step. We need to have real-time observations. Uh, we need to have objects about 100 feet uh, tracked by, by radar and by infrared and other means. Uh, the truth is, and I'm glad NASA's on this. In fact, it really wasn't on their radar, literally, until about three years ago, 2006, when they started thinking, we need to see what, everything that's out there. Now, uh, the truth is, though, you can see an asteroid um, a lot further in advance before it comes our way. In other words, there should be at some point no excuse for us missing one of these. It's not like you're going to get hit in the middle of the night. We see them miles away. Uh, that's right. Amateurs can do this. In fact, in 2029, there will be an asteroid that you can see with the naked eye that will skim right beneath our satellites. Uh, that's the Apophis uh, asteroid. It's about the size of the Rose Bowl. Mm -hmm. If it were to hit, it would wipe out a good metropolitan city. <laughs> yes, it would. And it will be visible with the naked eye and with binoculars. Holy smokes. Okay, so even if we map this universe, okay, figure out what the asteroids are doing, maybe sometime figure out what the space junk is doing, what can we do about it? Can we deflect it? Can we send it in a different orbit? That's tough, because right now we are going to be phasing out the space shuttle next year. We're going to have to ask the Russians for permission to go into outer space for five years. We have no way of shooting down an asteroid in outer space. The space shuttle can't even reach deep space to intercept such an asteroid. However, I think we should take uh, in, in initial steps to begin thinking seriously about how we could either push an asteroid out of the way or, if necessary, blow it up. And when you come up with that idea, you're going to be a very rich man. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not, it's, not, it's not just a NASA issue, this is a planetary issue. That's it right. could ultimately affect each and every one of us. Okay, noon Eastern time, that's the press conference. We're going to see him roll out that new gadget then, okay? Michio, great to see you, okay? okay. December 1st, big series. Good luck with